Yeah, what's happening? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Today, 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 today. My voice is echoing off of this chair right here. I know that sounds weird, but I got like a fold out chair that's made of pure aluminum and my voice is like echoing. Anyway, hope y'all having a good one today, man. Early sneaker review. One of my most anticipated sneakers of the year, but it's a it's a shoe that I know gonna sit. I don't care. I can anticipate a shoe and it can sit and collect the thickest dust tan. I don't give a damn. Playoff, up until this point, Playoff 13s was my most anticipated shoe of the year. And Cherry 12s is another shoe that's most anticipated. I don't think that one gonna collect that dust tan though. I think that one might might sell out. I think it is gonna sell out. If I have to be completely honest, I think it is gonna sell out. But this one right here, I feel like due to the history of the silhouette, I feel like the shoe is gonna sit. Probably half of y'all know what I'm talking about. Half half of y'all know what I'm talking about. And the other half of y'all like, Rich, just go ahead and unbox the shoe and stop damn talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. You feel me? Shout out to my guy. Big shouts out to the overnight FedEx shipping from Mr. Fine Line 1721. Y'all already know who he is, man. A lot of my shoes in my collection, especially my first few years of recording YouTube, came from Fine Line 1721. He took a hiatus from the game, but he back in it now. He got a lot of early pairs on deck. So if you want to get your pair early, no one have to worry about when the shoe drop, waiting in line, doing raffles, doing all that crazy stuff. You spend, you gonna spend an extra couple of dollars, but if you want it early, you don't have to worry about the hassle. Go on there and hit up my boy Fine Line 1721 for your early sneaker needs. You feel me? But um. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the E-Mac. I wanna see what these things look like, man. I seen pictures, I seen a lot of images recently. I even seen a couple of uh, reviews um, recently. Shout out to Jay, the sneaker guy. He reviewed everything early, like. <laughs> he just beat me on these, though. I got these in the day. The day that he posted this video is the day I got my pair in, but I didn't have time to do the review that day. So, um, shout out to him, man. Cause if I can't get it early, I can damn sure count on Jay, the sneaker guy. Um, to get them early. I think Break did a um, review of these already too. I think he did. If I can get this shit open, feel me. Ah, here we go. Here we go. So, there you have it. The Air Jordan box, you feel me? Air Jordan box action. Yes, sir, ski. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was, I was excited about these, man. Size 12, my size, my personal pair. Your digs, you feel me. It's just a regular Air Jordan flip up box, the OG with the Nike Air on it. Y'all already know what it is. Let's go ahead and get into the shoe, man. Hold up, man. Let's get some focus going. Let's go ahead and get into them. Let's go ahead. Hmm. That smell is sweet. That smell is sweet. Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, let's see these things. Oh, oh, oh. Quality? Quality? Okay. Oh, no, man. I'm going to do a comparison, too, because I do have the last retro of this shoe, as y'all might know if y'all been watching my videos. I do have the 2006. Well, that's, that's not a retro. That's actually the first time they dropped was in 2006. So I have the original OG pair of these. Man, though, the quality, though, Shadow. I don't know. I don't know, Ridge Nation. Quality looking all right on these, boy. I like the texture, but these things looking, they're a lot darker than I thought. Two people come hollering about ashy. These things. <laughs> the Air Jordan 7 Chambray. Thanks, man. Woo Ooh, Jerry made another one.
anyway, this is the Air Jordan 7 Chambray Jordan 7. Guys, man, um, this shoe first dropped in 2006, I want to say. Let me look at the production dates on the OG pair. It says 9-16-2005 to 11 10 2005, so 2006, I'm pretty sure is when the shoe dropped. And this shoe is just, I don't know, man. It's one of my favorite pairs. I love it when Nike does, any, or Jordan Brand does, any all-black, new book or suede, um, durable, whatever, against that, like, Carolina-type blue. Always a dope situation when they do that, man. This shoe, like, the and also the materials on this shoe. Like, a lot of people were just talking ashy, 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 and it's all of a sudden people hate shoes that got a little ash, a little kind of, because that's just suede, man. It's just the texture of the suede or new buck or, like, durable, buck, whatever they use, but I like it. I like it. It's actually a lot darker and deeper than I thought it would be. You know what I'm saying? But it just does, it has that ashy kind of like when a certain light hits. So you can put it in dark like this and the shoe looks super dark. Then you put it in the light. You're going to have that little. But it's really that ash is just showing the texture. Somebody made a comment. I forgot who it was. But they was like, they work at a sneaker store. And they was like, we got them in already. It was weeks ago. He said, man, I don't know. You still want them? He said, the, the, the suede looks like uh, Gore-Tex 5 suede. Like that real thick kind of like, like an ashy look to it. And I said, if it looked like that, I definitely want them because I love the materials on that shoe. And he was right, man. He was pretty spot on when he was saying what they kind of look like. But it's not that ash that looks like, it's certain ash like, when you talk about Jordan 5 uh, black grapes, the ash on that shoe is like ashy in spots and not ashy in other spots. This one is evenly, you know what I'm saying? It's evenly, it's kind of like even. I ain't going to say evenly ashy, but it's just even around the whole shoe. How it looks. It don't look spotty. It don't look. It don't look like some parts. Some parts of the shoe need lotion, and some parts. You know what I'm saying? Need a skin skincare routine. It looked like the whole shoe just kind of got. It just. It comes together for me. It just makes it look. Look how. I mean, it just. I don't know. It just looks good to me. Uh, that's the bottom of the shoe. Favorite part of the Jordan Seven is the bottom and the tongue. I love the shape on these too because they remind me. More of the OG shape, like the original Air Jordan Seven shape, the actual 1992. Which I, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I got a uh, OG 1992 pair of Olympic Sevens. I'm gonna start having that in the back every time I uh, review a Jordan Seven. So everybody who's gonna jump in the comments and be like, "Man, wait, what's wrong with the shape? Why they do the shape like that?" I'm gonna show you how close it is to the original because this is really, really close to the original OG 1992 shape. And even it's, it's I, I even get appalled because it's a lot of OG sneakerheads that was actually around in 1992 and had these shoes back then and they still saying that this shape is off it's not perfect it's not exactly like the 1992 but it's actually the closest it's way closer somebody said hairs was the hair 2015 hair sevens was as close as we got the og shape i said you tripping 2015 every jordan seven that dropped in 2015 whether it was the hairs the bordeaux um the Raptors, we had Raptors in a minute, but all of those shoes got the wrong shape. Ain't none of them shaped like the OG. This is closer to the OG shape than everything that dropped back then. You know what I'm saying? So, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and do a comparison to, uh, to the 2006, to the OG release. Uh, I'm going to go over the tone real quick. Just quick on the tongue. I know I showed all this stuff in the B-roll, but it's the uh, it's that um, African tribal tongue that you have on those Jordan 7s. But you have it in the gray and the kind of like black. Then you have the Jordan air and the Jordan in the air and that uh blue color that carrot like like light Carolina kind of blue um is that the chambray is that light Carolina blue the chambray or is, or is the gray the chambray I don't even know I think it's the blue I think the blue is the chambray yeah man so it says black chambray and light graphite so yeah it's the blue because the light graphite is probably definitely going to be the black I would think I mean the gray uh the graphite so here's the left shoe right here like I said, that shape, man, I love that shape. This is the same shape we've been getting lately. The same shape we got on Citrus 7s that sat, and that's why I think this shoe is going to sit. Citrus 7 set, that's one of, that came out the same year, 2006, as this shoe came out uh, originally. And I feel like if that shoe set, this shoe going to sit too. People just don't gravitate towards 7s. A couple of people do, which really surprised me in my last video when I showed the uh, black, the white infrared 7s. A lot of people said they like 7s and they mess with 7s. They even like that shoe. And a lot of people said I'm just waiting on chambray 7s to drop. So, let me go ahead and get into the the uh the uh the uh comparison with the 2006 and i get y'all i get y'all up out of here like i'm tuning y'all car but uh, changing y'all or I'm, I'm going ahead and get into this and we'll get y'all up out of here you feel me we're gonna get your keys get y'all up out of here so anyway this is the air jordan 7 uh chambray from 2006 and as you can see compared to the 2005 uh 23 
I'm sorry, I said 2015, 2023, it's some lot of differences, and the differences in this shoe, the newer model from this one, I actually like the 2023 better, and I did not think I would be saying this because y'all know Jordan brand is good at bringing the shoe back out and it's being worse. Now, I think a couple of these differences is go goes to time. This shoe came out in 2006, man. That's like, what, 17 years, bro. That's 17 years. And just, of course, the colors are not gonna look as vibrant, but even when I look at them together, I think originally, even just with, with just looking at the colors, I think this one still has a deeper chambray blue than this shoe, even when they first dropped. Because, like I said, I can't remember 2006 like vividly, but I'm pretty sure this shoe don't look crazy different than it did back then. Like I said, the blue just looks so light on the 2006. Like it's almost washed out a little bit. But on the 2023s, the, the, the shade of blue is just deeper. You can tell it's a Carolina chambray blue. You can just tell it even better. And also, the materials on the 2023 is a lot thicker that um that suede the ashy whatever you want to call it you got to look at it because these was ashy too but it looked real thin and then you also got a lot of those um and a lot of people like a lot of these border lines like between the sweat like what you call it edge lines on the new book a lot of people like that but i like the fact that the 2023 don't have it it gives it a darker even though it's still like a, like an ashy it's a real nice thick material and it looks good without those uh, edge lines. It looks it looks deeper and darker. And I think this shoe just overall looks 100% better than the 2006. And I did not think I would be going into this video saying that a, a 2023 pair of Jordans look better than a um, than a 2006 pair. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as the uh, citruses, they were way more similar looking as far as materials and everything. Uh, to the 2006 as far as being comparable but in my opinion the 2023 Air Jordan 7 chambray looks better dare I say better than the Air Jordan uh, 7 from 2020 I mean from 20 uh, 2006 Two and twenty threes look better to me. So anyway, that's my comparison. I don't know if I can just show the bottoms and compare the bottoms and stuff like that. It's not gonna be a really big comparison because like I said, this shoe is 17, 18 years old. Um, so it's not a crazy comparison when you're looking at the bottoms. It's, of course, this one is gonna look newer and more vibrant color-wise and stuff like that because it's a newer shoe. Um, but there you go with the tongs. Like I said, y'all draw y'all on comparison, 2006, 2023. Show the backs. That's 2023 right there. That's 2006. Like I said, 2023. 2023 list looks a whole lot more like a deeper color, and it's just it's just a to me it's the two, the um 2023s is just a nicer shoe to me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can draw their own opinions. Uh, one thing I will say about the 2006, it just looks smoother. Like the the new bug just looks smoother, but it's real. It's a lot thinner, and it's to me it's a little bit more cheaper grade of uh materials on that. It just looks it looks more it looks richer. Put it that way. On the 2023, it just looks looks richer, man. It looks just look more. I don't know. Look like it just they put they put some better quality material on it. I don't know. I ain't gonna keep going over and over. Y'all comment below and give me y'all opinions. Y'all like 2006 better? Go ahead and tell me. My feelings won't be hurt. It's just my opinion that the 2023s are actually, in fact, better. Anyway, I talked a lot on this video. My mouth dry. That's how I can tell. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for watching. I did want to do the comparison in this video. Next video I do of this shoe, it'll probably be the on feet uh, look at the shoe. I didn't want to do that in this video because I know I want to do the comparison. So I had to choose. If I want to do a separate video for the own feet or do a set, I was going to actually do three videos. I'm going to do a separate video for the comparison, but I figured a lot of people might not know the history of the 2000, I mean, the 2006 or how it even looked. So I figured I'd show that in the unboxing of the shoe. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all hit that thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tell me what y'all think about these shoes and the differences between the two. And are you going to go after the 2023 Chambray 7s that's dropped July 15th, I think? Comment below and let me know. And hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon. All them hell is you saying. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yeah. 
Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With riches, kids. I mean, my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. It gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening to everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone Straight up to the moon on them